Hi guys, welcome to a new location. Season 1, episode 6. Today we are here in the city of Reims. Reims is located in the northeastern part of France in the Champagne Ardennes region. The city is situated halfway between Paris and Luxembourg and have a long history of more than thousands of years old. Its origins dating back to before the Common Era. Even during Roman times, the city was fairly well known. Nowadays, Reims is famous for its cathedral and for the Champagne that originates from here. So today I'm going to explore the city center of Reims, also visit the cathedral of course and stroll around the Christmas market but the most fun thing I'm going to do today is visit the champagne cellars of mum and do a little tasting afterwards so I'm really excited for this day so the first stop of the day the Porte Max is uh, sadly enough under construction All I can say about Porto Mars is it's the largest triumphal arch of the Roman Empire and it was built in the 3rd century. So now I'll continue my walk to the city center. The city halls of Reims dates back to the 17th century and suffered the same fate as many other buildings here in Reims. It got destroyed. With a bit of luck, the Renaissance facade has been spared. The Notre Dame Cathedral dates back to the 13th century and is the top attraction of the city. After the destruction of Rams during World War I, the cathedral has to be completely restored. The cathedral also has a rich history as it served as the coronation city of 33 French kings. So right next to the cathedral, you will find the Palais du Tau. And also here, there are construction works, so I can visit it. But it's the former Archbishop Palace of Reims, dating back to the 16th century, and it's listed as a UNESCO World Heritage City. Now we'll continue our walk to the Place Drouet d'Erlon.
If you want to discover the nightlife of Rams, you should go to the Place Douai d'Erlon. During the day, you can enjoy one of the pleasant trusses if the weather is nice. The highlight of this street is the Fontaine Subé. So I just arrived here at the cellars of Mum, ready to do the champagne experience. So on this tour I'm going to discover how George Herman Mum, an ambitious visionary entrepreneur, led Mum to the path of growth and international development. He brought a philosophy of excellence and innovation to the company that still guides this champagne production nearly 200 years later. George Herman Mum was also responsible for creating the famous Red Ribbon, a worldwide symbol of quality since 1876. The guided tour of the cellars is followed by a tasting of the Mum Gordon Rouge, the symbolic Mum Champagne. The guided the tour is about one hour and a half or something and I paid 28 euros for one adult. And don't forget, for visiting the sellers you have to book in advance.
Now that was an amazing tour. Now to end our vlog, I'm going to stroll around to the Christmas market. I just ordered myself a panini trois fromages. Triple cheese can be better. Here are the other highlights of my walking tour through the city of Rheims. So that's it for me here in the city of Rams. It was a wonderful day. I hope you liked it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and a reaction in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, a Location, and I will see you again in another Location. Au revoir.